Hey guys, in this video, I want to go ahead and talk about implicit differentiation and specifically on the AP exam, uh, you're going to get a question usually where you have that minus in the front. Okay. Um, and you know that you're going to take the derivative with respect uh, to X. All right. So let's go ahead and run through this one real quick. So the derivative of X squared, you guys know is 2x, right? Now, we're going to take the derivative of x, okay, with respect to this guy, all right, dx. And that's why, that's how it becomes a 1, all right? So we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So we're going to do a minus. And what, what I tell my students here, okay, let's just leave the negative outside. Don't, don't worry about that guy, okay? We'll distribute them later because for some reason that negative just confuses the students and they end up forgetting the negative or missing it. So let's just kind of cover it up. So remember, this is going to be the product rule, okay? All right, first, you write your first function, first times the derivative of the second, the derivative of y, Okay, with respect to x. So you're going to put dy dx. So first times the derivative of the second plus the second, okay, which is a y, times the derivative of the first. So the derivative of 2x is, well, 2. But because it's an x, we're going to write the derivative of x with respect to x. All right. And that's why this becomes a 1. And usually probably your, your teacher will tell you, hey, don't worry if it's just X, don't worry about it. But it's important to know why it becomes a 1. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and close it off. So this is just a product rule, and you will get that on the AP exam, okay? All right, so first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, okay? And then this guy here, the derivative of Y squared is 2Y. But because it's with y, right? So we're going to do dy, the derivative of this letter, with respect to x, dy dx, equals. And then the derivative of 7, a constant, you guys know is 0. Okay. Now let's go ahead and clean it up real quick. This becomes a 1. Uh, that becomes a 1. So we're going to end up with 2x. And I'm gonna, now I'm going to go ahead and distribute my negative. So we're going to get minus 2x dy dx, and then we're going to get minus 2y, this becomes a 1, and then we're going to get two uh, plus 2y dy dx, and that's going to equal to 0. Now, at this point, you right, you have to start rearranging and combining like terms and whatnot, right? Well, sometimes students get this confused and get mixed up. Now, if they're going to ask you to find the, the derivative, right, the slope, and they give you the values, Sometimes it'll be probably be easier to just plug these things right in. So x equals 1. Let's go ahead and put that in there. So 2 times 1 minus 2 times 1 dy dx. Okay, minus y is 4 plus 2 times 4 dy dx equals 0. So let's see what we can clean up here now that we're dealing with numbers. So that's going to give me a 2, and that's going to give me a 2. So we're going to have 2 minus 2 dy dx, and then minus 8 plus 8 dy dx. And you know we're going to go ahead and combine our dy dx's together. So you have negative 2 dy dx plus 8 dy dx. Well, that's going to give me a 6 dy dx. All right, and then 2 minus 8, that's going to give me negative 6, and that's going to equal 0. So you see how just kind of plugging in the values, it, it, it cleared up a lot of stuff for me. And then just go ahead and bring it to the other side. So we're going to have 6 dy dx is equal to positive 6. And then after dividing, we're going to get dy dx is equal to 1. And, uh, yep, and that's how easy it is, guys. So just be careful. But on the AP exam, you got to know your opponent. You got to know what to look for. You, they're going to give you this negative because so many times the students make a mistake on that. All right, guys. So hopefully that helps.
clarify it and uh, see you guys next time.